Okay, I'm currently working on the Andrew Scott Dolph Lundgren custom figure. Uh, this is actually the figure that had the Wolverine head on, but I just couldn't come to a decision what I wanted to do with it. So I've uh, snapped it off and I'm going to be putting the Dolph Lundgren Andrew Scott head on. Uh, and that is going to be, once this uh, custom is finished, it's going to be accompanying the Luke Devereaux custom that I did there. So as you can, uh, as you can see, I cut down the, well I take the head off the original uh, original figure, uh, cut it down and then pack it back up to the um, relevant neck height using milliput. So that will sit on there, as you can see it's a bit low at the moment so I need to build it up slightly to there.
Okay, here we have a selection of uh, some items that I've come across and gathered together. And using these items, we're going to make the headset for the Luke Devereaux uh, Universal Soldiers uh, figure. Uh, take you through what these items are. So this is a, I believe they're called a uh, butt splice terminal. Uh, here we have some tooth caps for a fuse board. We've got some black uh, caps uh, for screws or nails. We've got a bit of a vinyl disc here that's got a really nice texture to it that I'm going to be using for the eyepiece itself. Uh, we've got some fuses here as well that can also substitute into them. And we've got a thin piece of metal here that's very flexible and I can actually cut it with a uh, normal pair of scissors. That's going to be the headband. And then also we have some super glue. And the reason I'm pointing this out is one, because we're going to use it, and two, I'm actually going to use the end of the cap itself. I'm going to cut it off and use that as the lens part of the camera. So it's uh, going to be interesting and let's see how it goes. Okay, so first off, we're going to use the uh, fuse board teeth pegs, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to take this one. So, this is going to be the earpiece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the edge, uh, edges off, get rid of that little triangle there, and that is going to sit on his ear. So, there you go, I'll go ahead and cut the edges off. And that will sit on his ear like so, covering the eye and then we'll have the metal strip going over the top for the headband. So as I mentioned this uh, thin strip of metal is quite flexible and you can cut it with a pair of scissors. So, let's just unwind that, bend it into shape, and there you have your headband. Okay, so we've got the earpiece and the headband, and I'm just going to stick that in place there and glue it into place. And it's, as you can see, it's already coming together. Okay, guys, so now we have the earpiece, the headband, and the eyepiece. So next, we're going to make the eyepiece look better, and then we'll attach the camera. So for the eyepiece I'm using this vinyl disc, so that's the actual vinyl there um, and that's the under, underneath of the vinyl which you, the vinyl adhesive would uh, adhere to and that's why that's got this pattern on top that the vinyl adhesive to adhere to it. But we actually want to use this pattern because this is very similar to the pattern on the eyepiece in the actual uh, Universal Soldiers headpiece. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this twice, we're going to use the back for the, for the circle backing of the eyepiece, almost like an eye patch that's going to go over the eye and then we're going to cut a rectangle out on the pattern side, glue them both together and then glue them to the front of the earpiece.
Okay, so I've actually done the eyepiece again because I thought the oval in the back was too small, so that was the one you've just seen me do, but I've actually done a second one. So, to make that stand out even more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Stanley knife and I'm going to trim the edges off there so it's just a thin piece sticking out and then the uh, eyepiece will glue on the front here. Okay, next we're going to be using this uh, wire crimp, I believe it's called, as the camera. We don't need it all, we're going to cut it through the middle. 